हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मुजाहिद मेडिकल नॉलेज फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल बी फाइन एंड गुड एंड टुडे इज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्री मेंस्ट्रुअल सिंड्रोम और सिंपली द सिम्टम्स बिफोर पीरियड्स फ्रेंड इफ यू आर वुमेन एंड इफ यू वांट टू नो दैट व्हेन विल माय पीरियड कम्स सो दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर यू बट बिफोर वी बिगिन प्लीज फ्रेंड्स गिव मी अ लॉट ऑफ सपोर्ट बिकॉज़ आई नीड योर सपोर्ट एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल मुजाहिद मेडिकल नॉलेज फॉर रिसीविंग मोर इंफॉर्मेटिव नॉलेज सो लेट्स बिगिन common symptoms before periods common symptoms before periods often referred to as premenstrual syndrome pms can vary widely from person to person that typically occurs 1 to 2 weeks before the period start there are some common symptoms include so let's discuss about it physical symptoms number past bloating a feeling of fullness or feeling swelling in the abdominal area number second breast tenderness swelling or tenderness in the breast also indicates that your periods are coming number third headaches or migraines increased occurrence of headaches or migraines is also the symptom of your coming periods number four fatigue feeling unusually tired or sluggish is also the symptom of your coming periods number 5 cramps mild to moderate cramping and the lower abdomen number 6 acne increased occurrence of pimples or skin breakouts number 7 digestive issues constipation or diarrhea can occur friends these are physical symptoms which you feel before you are coming periods now let's talk about the emotional and behavioral symptoms before your periods so friend the first one emotional symptom is mood swings rapid changes in mood from feeling happy to sad or irritable is the main symptom of your coming period so friends the second one symptom is anxiety feeling more anxious or stressed than usual the third one symptom is depression feeling sad hopeless or emotionally low the fourth one symptom is crying spells and increased sensitivity or emotional response to situations dear friends these symptoms usually subside once the period begins but for some people they may persist during the menstrual cycle if the symptoms are severe it could be a condition called premenstrual dysphoric disorder pmdd which may require the medical attention dear friends i hope you will find the video helpful and informative so please support me because i need your support and like share the video and also subscribe to my channel mujahid medical knowledge for receiving more informative videos see you next time